Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back and spending a little time with your boy. Today, today, oh boy, do I have something special planned for you guys. Today we're going to talk about this masterpiece, this beautiful, mm, gorgeous tobacco fragrance, baby. This is Triumph of Bacchus by Argos. You guys ever get that feeling, that strange feeling like you're forgetting something? Like, I'm definitely forgetting something. I mean, I remember to wear pants, which is crucial, and I have my belt on, that I know. I got socks on, shoes, the whole bit. I know. I got something really special planned for you guys. Stay tuned. Right after that intro, we will be back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Me, Jessica, my beautiful, you look amazing. Oh my God. Amazing. All right. Girl, I could plant you and grow a whole field of y'all. Can we get on with the video, please? Yeah, but if Thanks. you guess the show that that quote came from, I will be super impressed. So He'll send you sure money. I, we, what? That's what he, he, yeah, you said you were going to send the money. I never said that. He did. He Why said would that. you say something like that? Don't lie to the people, jeepers. You seen the bank account. There's 56 cents in that. Um, so this is my wonderful girlfriend, the mother of my children. This is Jessica. Say hello to the world. Hi, hello world. Our friends in the United States and in uh, the United Kingdom, you guys get 10% off when you use code Cali10. So, and I do want to mention that that is an affiliate link. So anytime that you guys do purchase anything from the site, I do get a small kickback. So Jessica's here for a few different reasons. Um, number you all one, like me better than him. That's probably true. I could definitely see that. But um, the main reasons are I know nothing about Greek mythology. She loves Greek mythology. So I figured that it was proper to include her in this video. Also, I thought it would be great for um, the viewers to get an idea of the scent, because I could describe, you know, the fragrance, but what are other people going to think? Especially somebody that's really not, right. you know what smells good, but I think it's fair to say that you aren't uh, like a, a fragrance connoisseur. I don't think you would describe not yourself. Not at all. As... You tell me my nose is broken all the time. <laughs> so I don't know why you want me on the videos. Cause... Because it, you, do, you do provide great value, not only to me in my life, but you also provide great value with Don't Roll Your Eyes at Me, I saw that. <laughs> We usually have very contradicting uh, views on fragrances, too. Which is, so that's which also... is okay. Which is okay. No, I'm not saying that's, it's a bad thing. That's, a, it's a, good that's thing. a good thing. Plus, like, I have a certain way of describing things, and she does, too. Let's not waste any more of your time, because, like I always say, your time is just as or even more valuable than mine. So let's get on with it. I'd love to start off with the uh, presentation, if you don't mind showcasing the box there. So the fragrance, this fragrance was developed in 2019. Um, the nose behind this is the, the CEO, creator of the brand, Christian Petrovich. The box is absolutely it's beautiful, stunning. I love the artwork, the presentation here. I love that the artwork goes all the way around the box. Yes, I would agree. What does the top look like? That's the sky. Sky? What about the bottom? The bottom's the ground. See that? Spare no expense. Everything is covered. Mm -hmm. I love the logo on the front, the name and the uh, ingredients on the back, yeah. everything like that. This box that the fragrance, so this is what the fragrance comes in after you open up the box. This is what you are going to see here. So you're going to see the logo of the brand in this like leather looking material. And then when you, you have gold on both sides, and then when you open this up, you get a, a description of Bacchus and you also see um, the fragrance here. So, and you also have the, the note description too on the inside of the box. Also, it is a snug fit inside of the box. Another thing here, when we take a look, so this is the 30 ml bottle. They have another um, size as well. I'm going to list um, pricing somewhere here for, for both the uh, 30 ml bottle here and then the, uh, the larger bottle. So I'm gonna show you the bottle there. Amazing thick, heavy glass here. Heavy cap. The cap has the uh, the beautiful Argos logo there. Also, See, better not make me mad. <clears throat> no, you could. I could chuck that thing right at your head. Yeah, you could do some serious damage. Mm -hmm. So, would you mind moving your glass really quickly? I want you guys to see this because, as connoisseurs, we see this quite often, where companies will do these like controlled atomizers, but I've never seen anything quite like this. This literally 
will spray as much as you push. So watch. See that there was a little, I don't know if you guys caught that, but just a little just came out, but now, and then you have some more mist, but now watch this. Look at that. Absolutely incredible technology in these atomizers. And I just discovered this today when I, when I put this on. So obviously it is my scent of the day today. And um, I actually, this morning, this morning I sprayed at, a, at 11.30 there. I sprayed this on. Can you still smell it or no? Yeah. Well, now you have, I have it all in front of me now. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, but the point there, so it's about 12 hours. Okay. It's 12 hours. It's, it's approximately 1130 here. So 12 hours later, it's on the, uh, the test strip. So that just goes to show you and to prove to you that this is a powerful, powerful fragrance. You don't need a whole lot. If you would, dear, can I just spray this on your wrist? I'm just going to do one spray because that's all you need. And I'll do a full one here. Just, uh, that covered her entire hand. Sorry. And wrist. <laughs> yeah, it did. And wrist. The reason why I want to spray it on her is because I love the way that this particular fragrance smells on her skin. Spray it on me too. We'll see what we get. I have the nicer skin. You do. That is, that is for sure. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> so what, what do you, what do you experience? What are you experiencing? What am I experiencing? Yeah. Just what, mm -hmm. what do you, just things that you can. Well, it's definitely unisex. Okay. 100%. Okay. I could wear it. You could wear it. Yes. I agree. Well, you do wear it. I would wear it. Um, maybe floral. Okay. So you get some floral. Um, and that's about as far as my nose goes. And that's. Okay, no. so you get straight up florals. There's something else in there mm -hmm. that's not sweet. Like what? Would you be able to earthy? Yeah, it is kind of earthy. I don't know what it is, but. I got you. What is it? I'll tell you. So in the top notes, we have saffron, white peach. We have green apple. We also have rum in here. That's the probably what I'm smelling. The, the rum in the heart, we have jasmine, we have patchouli, tonka bean, vetiver. Now, to me, the vetiver in here is a dry vetiver. However, I don't think that it's super earthy or super pungent. It's not extremely prominent to me. It's more of a support there in the, uh, in the heart of the fragrance. In the base, we have tobacco, amber, we have sandalwood, musk, I'm assuming that it's white musk, and then uh, we have vanilla, of course. So that is your uh, your complete no breakdown there. So I'm going to give you my opinion in a second. I definitely detect sweetness from the, uh, the citrus. To me, this is more of a sweet citrus experience. It's not like a, a fresh, juicy uh, sweetness in that, in that opening. It's more of a, uh, just a sweet, fruity opening with some sugar rum in there. So it is it is a sweet, slightly boozy experience in the opening. Then what I find is the heart is a little earthy, not too earthy. The, the earthy tinges here with the patchouli, the vetiver kind of playing back and forth off of each other, to me allow the floral notes to, to kind of boost. So you definitely get the jasmine. I do detect other florals in here. I, I detect white florals in here. They're not listed. However, that's just what my nose is experiencing. In the heart, the tobacco is the main star of the fragrance. I feel like the, the floral notes, the citrus notes, the, uh, the earthiness here, the sandalwood, the, the I'm assuming is white musk and vanilla here, help boost and push up the tobacco. For me, the tobacco, I love this note of tobacco in here. I am a tobacco fanatic. Yes. And this is one of my favorite tobacco scents. I'm solely right now just focusing on tobacco. I love the way this note speaks to me because it starts off as a slightly wet kind of tobacco experience when that tobacco note is introduced, which is right around the 10 or 15 minute mark there. I was really, really paying attention and focusing in on this fragrance today. Um, but then as these other notes start to kind of play back and forth off of each other and help boost the tobacco note up to the forefront. When the heart, or I'm sorry, 
when the base of the fragrance is introduced, what I experienced with tobacco is it starts to dry. It starts to become a little bit more dry. So it, it, it teeters between a wet tobacco and a dry tobacco. It kind of sits right in the middle there. And let me tell you, to me, I'm gonna ask you for your opinion. You know what? I don't want you to be swayed in any way. What, what do you think? What are your overall thoughts on the fragrance itself? I like when it's first sprayed. So you like the opening? Yes, the dry down to me, it, it's no longer sweet and I don't really get florals as much. It's more you, it's more tobacco. Okay, so now, now that it's things are starting to kind of come together now because it's not completely dry yet, but um, what, what do you think? Do you think this is still unisex? Do you think this leans maybe masculine? No, I still think it's unisex. Okay. I think it is. I, I don't think, I think the vanilla and it makes it unisex and what it's be, uh, being mixed with the florals, but I could see women wearing this and men. Absolutely. It smells good on you. I don't think I'd wear it just okay. because of the dry down. I'm not a fan of tobacco scents. You know that. I'm yeah. Not. Yeah, you are more of a, of a, you are probably the biggest rose lover that I've I ever am. met in my life. Um, and, and you tend to lean toward more sweeter, I, I wouldn't say sweeter, but more citrus based fragrances. Yeah, but I, floral is where yes. I. Yeah. And not, yeah, he's right, rose, not just any kind of floral. I do, I love rose. I do think this is an extremely well composed fragrance. You guys know me by now. I love the scent journey. I love when a scent, when the fragrance opens up and it's not the same thing in the opening as it is in the base. And then in the heart, you have different, you, you get to experience these, these different things. This is a phenomenal blend. I absolutely love this. I'm extremely honored to, uh, to have this in my collection. I'm glad I bought this. Um, it, 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 it means a lot to have a, a fragrance this beautiful in my collection. I'm telling you, if you don't believe me, that's fine. They have a discovery set there. You guys can discover. They have a, a couple other bangers too that I absolutely love. Um, Bacchio Immortal is one that I cannot wait to have in my collection. One that you would actually like is Pour Femme. Actually, when we did our unboxing did, on yeah. Instagram, you loved that fragrance. I did. Mm -hmm. That is their, um, their, definitely their most feminine leaning uh, uh, fragrance. It's 100% feminine. Yes, and that is beautiful. So what are your overall thoughts from the from the unboxing experience, the unveiling? What are your thoughts there? I'm a huge advocate on packaging. The packaging is awesome. I love I love the artwork. I love, okay. I'm a I'm an artwork fan. Um, you are an artist. I yeah, that's true. I am. Um, packaging is amazing. Okay. Um, what do you think about this? The magnetic. If you watch our unboxing, it takes him like <laughs> five minutes to figure out how to open this box. <laughs> well thank god for that practice run huh <laughs> and now uh, what do you think about the bottle you can go ahead hold it i love this a little yeah little painting on there yeah it's the triumph of bacchus mm -hmm. um who is bacchus by the way a greek god okay he's the party god he's the party god he's the god of wine making chaos so he's like me no. That's it, guys. Yeah. That's it. I figured it out. This right here is a flirtatious tobacco fragrance. That's what this is. I think it's more, actually, I mean, he's the god. He, it's like he, uh, he can't, he's the in-between. So. What's the in-between? Well, I mean, we watch Stranger Things. Oh, wait, that's the upside down. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, the in between, like life and death. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Like that kind of yeah. in between, and um, the fragrance itself. There's there's three different descriptions that you could give this fragrance, which I can, is kind of Seductive, chaotic, right? So chaotic mm -hmm. and flirtatious. And it's not chaotic in a bad way. It's chaotic, like I'm smelling something now, and then in two minutes, I'm smelling something totally different. I, I love uncontrolled chaos, but the, but then it all comes together though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think it's beautiful. So what do you think, what, what does it smell like on me? It smells totally different on you. Yeah, it does. It smells better on you. What's that? What did you say? Nothing. 
you say it smells better on me? No. I think you did. I didn't say that. I think you did. Can you, why do you keep touching my hair? I'm allowed to. I'm gonna touch your hair. Look at. Uh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry, I won't touch yours mm. anymore. Okay. <laughs> so, um, the overall experience with Triumph of Bacchus, guys, I love it. I wore a crap load of this. Look at that bottle. I put a nice little dent in it in the past three weeks that I've had it. All right, is there, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add or anything? No. Do you look forward to other f of their, uh, their line? Like I would really look forward to uh, one for me. Oh, so poor fun. Yeah, that would be nice. Poor fun. I mean, I'm not gonna buy it for myself. Okay, I, I get the hint. Valentine's Day is around the corner. I got you. <laughs> Guys, this concludes the first episode with my beautiful girlfriend. It was nice to finally be in a video and not it was, just alive. It was great having you here. I love you so much. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Now, remember, be kind to each other, love each other. What else? Smile. That's right, smile. You know why? Because it's infectious. And when you smile, somebody will in turn smile back at you and you'll both be happy people. We need more happy people in the world. What do you think, babe? Yeah. Shiny happy people. So anyway, until next time, guys, I love you. Peace.